Hi, this is Chris Gilbert from Implementation Specialists. This video, we're going to review the Excel integration with Business Central. We all know that the, the integration with Excel and BC is, is pretty extensive. What I'd like to do in this video is just show you an example of the way that we can utilize Excel to do mass updates in Business Central. So what I've done is I'm, I'm using the Business Central app I created a sales quote for an example. Uh, this sales quote has 13 sales lines, uh, but let's imagine that there's 60 or 70 sales lines, and I wanna do a mass update. I don't wanna go into each, each line and make changes. So what, what I looked at in is the uh, unit price versus the unit cost, and I thought, eh, maybe we can make a little more profit margin on that. But I don't wanna go through each line. Anytime we see this little share uh, icon in any form, whether it's a sales quote, a sales order, purchase order, whatever it may be, we can edit in Excel. So what that does is that'll bring up Excel and I have the Excel add-on already configured. So as we can see down here, we have the add-on for Microsoft Dynamics Office it went through and it refreshed the data. So what that did is that brought in the entire sales quote. And just by looking at this now, there's a lot of columns on here that I don't have in BC. So if I look back at, at BC, I can see that someone must have personalized this and removed the columns that are unneeded. So when we do any type of Excel export, it's going to bring over all available columns, whether they're shown in Business Central or not. So that's something that we have to be aware of. So I'm back in my spreadsheet here. And again, I was looking at my unit price being, eh, maybe we can make a little more off of that versus my unit costs. So I can just use my normal Excel gymnastics and use a formula. So if I want to take my unit cost and I want to up it and make 50% off of it, I can put that formula in and then copy it down to everything else. So now I have a 50% markup. If I come over to my add on on this side, there's a publish button. When I click publish, that's going to take all the information that I uh, changed in Excel and push it up to BC. So if I go back to BC and I look at my quote and refresh my screen, you can see all those changes were already made. So if I go back to my Excel, I can look here and do a refresh. Once I refresh, it's gonna pull it all in. And again, we used a formula for these fields. That's gone now. So the information coming from BC into Excel is uh, numeric only. So the formulas will, uh, will go away. Um, once I'm done with Excel, I don't need to save it. The information has already been pushed up. Uh, and my sales quote has been updated. So now what we're gonna do is show you how to get this set up because there's a little bit of work on the BC side and also uh, on the office side to get this set up. Okay, to install the Excel add-on, we first must get Business Central ready. So we hit our little magnifying glass and let's just search on Excel. We see our Excel add-in centralized deployment. And that's what I'm gonna select because I'm assuming we have a bunch of users. We don't want each user to do it individually. Uh, we want to pass this out through Office 365. So there's a couple little uh, uh, information documents that you can, you, can, uh, you can read, but let's just go through that. The first thing that we have to do is go into the uh, Office 365 Admin Center. So this requires, obviously, the proper rights, uh, global admin. So when I click on that, uh, it takes me right to the integrated apps. Now, this is for all the users on our tenant. I can see what apps are already uh, installed. I can choose Get Apps. When I hit Get Apps, I want to search on uh, Microsoft Dynamics. Load that up. And this is what I want. It's a dy uh, Dynamics uh, Office add-in. Once I hit get it now, 
Um, from here, I can choose the entire organization. I can do specific groups. And again, this is all through um, uh, Office 365. I'm just going to say just me. So it'll just be for my user. And I hit next. And we're going to finish the deployment. So this takes a second to uh, process. And again, you can do this for all the users. You can do it for specifics or, or just yourself. Okay, the app was deployed. I can hit done. Now we can see that the Dynamics Office add-in is part of the integrated apps. Now if I go over to just an Excel workbook, what I want to do is go to insert. And then from here, my add-ins. If I look at my add-ins, I have no add-ins here and no admin uh, managed add-ins. So I want to hit get add-ins and then admin managed. And once I hit refresh, we can see that the uh, dynamics is there. So I'm going to edit. What that does is it'll give me my dynamics uh, add-in on this side, and I want to go to server uh, URL. This is the server URL that you want to add. You can search in Google on Microsoft Dynamics add-on server URL, and this is what you'll get. Uh, once you hit OK, that will communicate uh, back with that URL, and you are good to go on the Excel side. So if I close my Excel, I can come back to my uh, Business Central and I'm looking at the add-on, which we followed the instructions for the integrated apps. We made sure that the deployment was okay. Once I hit next, I get this use centralized development uh, checkbox. I can either turn off centralized development, which will allow individual users to pull in their um, add-ons. Uh, by themselves or I can say only centralized uh, deployment uh, from an administrator and that's the way that I'm going to keep it here. So once I do that we're set we're ready to go as far as the Excel integration so I'm going to go back to my sales quote and just make sure I have everything set up again this looks familiar I'll click on edit in Excel and let's bring up our Excel sheet and now you can see I have my Excel add-in. Data has been refreshed. And we're set. So there's a little bit of configuration that needs to be done on the, on the BC side and on Excel. But once you uh, use the, uh, the integrated management, uh, it goes a lot faster. You can put in entire groups uh, so that the only thing that they would have to do is come up to uh, in their Excel uh, insert uh, to look at the admin managed uh, add-ons that they have. So it, it's a lot easier and there's a lot of power that go to it or uh, that come with it. If you uh, have any questions or comments, please feel free to um, uh, enter a comment. If you, if you would like to see more, uh, please let me know. I'd be happy to, uh, to show you more. We'll have more videos on uh, Outlook integration as well as Teams integration uh, coming up. Uh, have a great day. Thanks.